the half-life of uranium-235 is 704 million years. This means that 50% of the original radioactivity is present after 704 million years. So what does this mean? Okay, so what does it mean in simple language? If you have got, say, one gram of uranium-235, this means after 704 million years, you would have half a gram of uranium-235. That's what it means. Okay. Now, whenever you have something which is increasing or decreasing exponentially, okay, when, you, when something is increasing exponentially, an example can be the growth of a virus or growth of a bacteria, uh, you, that can be an exponential increase. Or you think about radioactivity, which is continuously decreasing. Okay, so it's not, uh, it's at every second or every microsecond. Or if you think about the growth of a bacteria, that's again, it's increasing every second or every microsecond. So such type of growth, you can use this formula. So this is a well-known formula, P, not P, sorry, A amount. This is for compound interest. When something is increasing, suppose you imagine your bank is promising to compound your money every second or every microsecond, okay, or every zillionth of a second, then you can use this formula where A is equal to, A amount is P times E to the power RT, where R is the rate at which it is increasing, okay. Okay, so let, or in other books, they can also write this like this, y as a function of time is equal to y0 times e to the power kt. So this is a general formula. y is the quantity at, uh, at time t. So you can say, what is yt? yt is the quantity, qty is quantity at time t, at time t. Your y0 is the qu initial quantity. y0 is the initial quantity. And k is the rate of change. k is the rate of change, which is a constant. It's going to be constant because each rate of increase or decrease has a rate, okay? And t is the time. Okay, t can be, t is the time in whatever, it depends on the situation, t is the time. So here, the time is in million years. Okay, here the time is in million years. Okay, so what are we saying? Your yt, okay, so what does this, this situation mean? Your yt is becoming half y0 when t is equal to 704 million years. So that's as simple as that. Your, the uranium becomes half the quantity or half the initial quantity after 704 million years. So let's put this back in this equation. So you can say half of y0 is equal to y0 times e to the power k times 704. So dividing both sides by y0, I hope you understand this would be 0.5 is equal to e to the power 704k. Now taking natural log of both sides, so this is natural log of 0.5, ln of 0.5 is equal to ln of e raised to 704k. We are basically trying to find what's the rate of decay for uranium-235. The natural log has a base of E. So now I can write natural log of 0 0.5 is equal to using the log rule, it's 704K times natural log of E to the base E. Now natural log to the base E, natural log of E to the base E is going to be 1. Okay, so this is 
I'll show the working here. So natural log of 0 0.5 is equal to uh, 704k because this is going to be 1. Now dividing both sides by 704, natural log of 0 0.5 divided by 704 will give you the k. So I can say I'll write the k here. Yeah, k would be, so let me use my calculator, natural log of 0.5 divided by 704 million years, which is this 0 0.000, this whole thing. So I'm going to, let me write that. So if you want to write this as a decimal, this is times 10 to the power negative 4. Okay, so k in a decimal form is 0. 0.000 I want the whole number, so I'll write 9845. I'm going to save this as a letter. So the A I'm going to, K I'm going to replace by A. So now you can say Y as a function of time is equal to Y0 times E to the power AT. Okay, so this is now my equation where a has been k has been replaced by a. So I'm going to use this arrow key and go alpha a equal. So now my calculator remembers. So if you go alpha a, my calculator knows it is this number. So let me minimize. So now the question is, let us come back to the question. What does it say? Okay. The question is, how long does it take for radioactivity to reduce by 10%? So when you have, what does it mean? To reduce by 10% means how much is remaining? Well, 90% is remaining. You're reducing, that radioactivity is reducing by 10% means what is remaining is 90%. That means if you had one gram, Okay, so let me write like this. So if your y0 is, if your initial was 1, your y t is 0.9, because what is remaining is 90%, which is 0.9. So let's put this back in this equation. So I can say 0.9 is equal to 1 times e to the power 80. So you can say 0 0.9 is equal to e to the power 80. So again, taking log of both sides, natural log of 0 0.9 is equal to natural log of e to the power 80. So again, natural log of 0 0.9 is equal to 80 times, again, natural log of e. A natural log of E has a base of E, so this is again going to be equal to 1. So now I can say natural log of 0 0.9 divided my, by my A will give you T. So I'll go natural log of, natural log of 0 0.9 divided by alpha A. Hopefully, yeah, this is my correct answer, 107 million years, 107 million years. So you can say, after 107 million years, I'll show this on a calculator, your radioactivity is going to be reduced by 10%. So let me use this on a calculator. So if you go to graph, Okay, so the equation is, uh, the equation, you can write the equation as, if you take 1, you can say y as a function of t is equal to e to the power a t. Hmm? y as a function of time is y as a function of time is e to the power a t. So, so I'll go shift e and I'll go alpha a x, because this is a function of x, and I'll go from, I'll go from say 0 to 
say we are talking in millions, so I'll go 1400 million years. Okay, scale of 1000 or 100 would do. And I want to go from y is from 0 to 1. And say 0 0.1 would do. I'll explain the graph. So this is a graph. Okay, so if you go y intercept, y intercept is going to be 1. That means when time started, you had 1 gram. Okay, so half life is 704, so 0 0.5 would be 704 to be exact. So if you go G sol, and if you want to find X calc, 0.5 is 50%. 50% would be there after 704 million years. So can you see 0 0.5, 50% you reach after 704 million years. And then you can go G sol, you come from your answer, X calc, and you have 0 0.9. So 107 point, 107 million years. Suppose if the question is, if 90, how many years would it take for it to become, say 90, reduced by 90%. So how much is remaining? 10%. Okay, so G sol, X calc, and you say 0.1. That means it has reduced by 90%. Uh, not found, so it is still, it's out of the scale. Okay, so let me draw it again. So if you go G sol, and let me find, say, 60%. So how much is the remaining? 40%, so 0.4. So after 930 million years, one gram would remain. How much would remain? Uh, 0.4 gram. 